Well, good morning guys. Um, we're going to do um, a bit of a, another test this morning. We're going to uh, use the uh, boom gel stain and um, I'm going to cover some tiles. Now I've made a, a special jig here to uh, paint eight tiles at once. Um, um, the reason I've done this is because when you're um, doing uh, a dirty cup or a fluid pour, um, you like to do it all in one motion. And the whole idea of this, uh, if you're doing individual tiles, you can uh, pick them up and tilt them, whatever. But what I want is an, uh, a pour to go over the whole lot. And uh, by using this, uh, this framework, uh, this form, if you like, we fit, we're able to fit those tiles in together and I can tip and pour the whole thing. Um, and therefore I can get an even spread of paint right across. So uh, <coughs> it's only a, a case of locking, it in, locking everything into to place. Now the tiles are ready to, to pour. Alright, so now we're set up and I've got the blues out of the, the Botany uh, Blues collection in Boom Gel. Now, for all you boomers, um, this is what I've done. Uh, as you can see, rather than pouring them straight into um, a cup, what I have done is I've mixed 50% water with the boom gel. Now we, we can do that. Um, it does apparently um, lessen the effectiveness of it, but I'm get, we're all going to see. Um, there's two things, um, I, the reason I'm doing it. Firstly is to make it flow a lot quicker. Um, you'd be aware that using boom gel, uh, you've got to use a lot for it to make it to move. And I think most of us fluid painters who have used acrylics, are used to having a mix which uh, is more dynamic, moves a lot quicker. And so um, I've added water, it's just water, I've added nothing else in there, so what we're going to see is a result of, uh, of that mixture. So <clears throat> I will pour my paints. As, as you can see, um, I'll try and get that, you can see the consistency of that is just like the same as we would do in the acrylic pour is just like a, a pouring cream consistency. So that's what I've been able to do just by adding half water and half paint. And half of the boom gel, I should say. So I'll just give those a quick mix before we pour those in. Okay, so what I'm going to do, uh, sloppy lad, it doesn't really matter, but I'll, I will just uh, clean that off. It's not going to be a, a flip cup, obviously, but it will be a dirty pour, as you can see. And so Try and get you in a little bit closer. One stir. And here we go. As always, the cup inside of the cup looks great. <laughs> okay, so here's where we are able then to utilize 
our tilt. That's right. All right, so now we just remove this from the, he says, sack from the pouring frame. separate them by running our spatula underneath and then take each tile and gently lay, lay them out one by one. Step down a bit there. We go. Right, I'll give you a close up of that. So there we have the result. Very happy with those and we will see if the uh, the boom and we can see look look at the cells forming in that still. So we're getting good cells. We're getting a lovely smooth finish from the boom boom gel stain and uh, Hopefully that's all going to um, dry uh, beautifully smooth. It's a nice flat surface and it's quite even there because I've spent a lot of time on this table making it uh, very, making it level. So, um, so that's the success. Let's see how they dry. I have to wait, but your next uh, vision will be of the dried tile. So here we are next uh, day. And uh, they have completely dried, and the cells have have remained to the to the most part. Um, some don't have cells, so these couple over here, uh, although the one on the left is uh, has got cells, but not so much this one. But the cells are evident here and in here, and. Uh, yeah, look, there's a good, decent coverage on the tile. Um, so I, I think that with a coat of resin, they're a little bit dull, but with a coat of resin, I think that they will come up really nicely. So we've got to wait for a little while, another day at least, uh, before we put any resin on them. Um, so, yeah, look, success has been achieved. 
So you can cut the uh, the boom gel by, well in my case I did it by 50%. I didn't mean to do it that, that much. I was aiming on 25%. But as it turned out, um, I added too much water into the first one. I thought, oh well, because we'll, uh, I was going to graduate from adding 25% and having a look at the result, and then doing a 50%, and having a look at the result, well, we went straight to the 50%, and uh, I think you'll agree um, that uh, we got quite a good coverage. Thanks for watching.